Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahino with Miss Tahino's Lego Robotics. No, don't worry, our schools did not lock down. I'm just here at home because I just, before I go to school, I was so excited to bring you this video about the 2021-22 FLL season. The new theme is gonna be called Cargo Connect and I'm just super pumped about it. Tahino, Lego Robotics. So what I wanna do in this video is just give you some information and then definitely pump you guys up because I definitely was pumped up just to be able to look at the new FLL season and to kind of put back just the whole year that we weren't able to compete and just kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and go, yes, hopefully we can get back to competing. So this video, I want you to just get excited and look at the Cargo Connect. So for those of you that love definitions and want to take the Cargo Connect and just kind of see what this might encompass, let's go ahead and take a look at the definition. Okay, guys, so if we're taking a look at the word cargo, cargo is goods that are carried on either a ship, aircraft, or some type of vehicle. In fact, I even got my vehicle shirt on today. So cargo is just, you know, you can think of things that are just carried from one place to another. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the word connect. And if we take a look at the word connect, connect means to bring together or into contact. So if we take the word cargo and connect, we can, you know, we can define that as goods that are carried by either a ship, aircraft, or vehicle and connecting that. So you can think of connecting the supplier with the consumer. So it's a really interesting concept to kind of think, okay, wow, all of the different components that can be involved in that theme. Hey guys, there's a cargo truck that's named after me. Say what? So I just got super excited because a couple of nights ago, a lot of us coaches got together on a Zoom call in the Southern California area just to talk about the theme and to definitely talk about the changes that are going to occur with this next upcoming season. So one of the big changes that I really liked was in the past, we would go to our qualifier. And if you lost in the qualifier, your season was pretty much done. And it was kind of weird because, you know, in baseball, you lose one game and you play another game and you play another. And, you know, a lot of my parents would, would say, wait a second. OK, so they didn't win the qualifier. What is next? And I'd be like, well, there really isn't much left. I mean, you can do some of the off-season competitions, but, you know, as far as the FLL season, it seemed to just stop. And what the new thing was that we found out about was in this next coming year, if you go to a qualifier and don't move on to the championships from there, you actually get a chance to go to another tournament linked to this qualifier. And if you can, you know, somehow be successful in that, you can actually meet up with the same teams that go to the championships. So it's a really neat concept to just give these kids another chance if they don't do well in the qualifier to be able to redeem themselves and just to be able to compete still. So I definitely was encouraged to be able to see all these first Lego League coaches because, again, it just gave me an encouragement like the days of being locked up in our homes and not being able to compete and the school shut down, it gave me just this glimmer of hope, like, you know, things are going to be able to, you know, move towards the things that we were able to do before. So I was just super excited. I was just all the memories of the students and the robots and being able to compete with other teams and just connect. And I like the word connect this, you know, this year with the other you know, students, teams, teachers, coaches, it was just an amazing experience. So as we move forward, I would encourage those of you that are, you know, parents and coaches to reach out to your teams. I know for those of you, especially like myself, where we haven't seen a lot of each other just because we've been, you know, virtual, um, as we move and end this school year and look forward to next school year, I would encourage you just to reach out to your team members that you know were with you before and they might be discouraged because you know that whole year went by without competing and i would just say to you you know if we need that recharge with encouragement you know our students need that encouragement too so i would say you know send out an email or ask the parents just say hey we're still thinking about you fll is going to come back um you know 
You might even send them a link to the teaser. I'll leave that in the description because as soon as they might see it and as soon as you guys see it, you might just be like, oh yeah, that's right. A new season, a new theme. And so the students, you know, definitely need that encouragement so they can look forward to next season and just be excited. So I would just say reach out. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm a college baseball, football, basketball coach where I'm just constantly having to, you know, keep in touch with my team so that way they know that I'm still thinking about them and first Lego League and they can still feel connected to the whole experience. And I, you know, I haven't forgotten about them. So I definitely want to reach out before the school year ends and say, hey, Johnny, Susie, I just want to let you know that this is a theme for next year. I want you to stay excited. I'd love for you to be on the team still if you're still interested. And that's kind of the goal for us is to just keep them interested um, because a lot of times they can lose that interest and they just need that little tap on the shoulder like first Lego League, you know, it's still excited. It's still, you know, it's still there. It's still something relevant into your life. You remember how fun it was? So definitely take the time to just reach out and say, I'm still thinking about you on our team. You know, I, I'd love for you to be on that team if you still want to be. That way they know that, you know, you want them on their team, but they still, you know, they won't feel bad if they're going a different direction or have other interests. The one concern I have is that our season is going to get bumped up maybe a week or two. And, you know, our season is already a little stressful. When we start school, we hit the ground running. So this is just going to make us even have to hit the ground running a little faster. So it's not anything that could have been helped. It's just a scheduling issue. So we're just going to have to make the most of it. And I think the exciting part is we'll just get going a lot faster. And so I'm just excited to get things moving a little faster. So we're going to take this and use it as something positive. So as I wrap up this video, guys, I just want you to be super pumped and excited about a lot of things. Um, going, going back to school in person, being able to compete again. And we still haven't heard back. Um, I, I guess FIRST is supposed to let uh, Southern California folks know what's going to go on as far as competitions. Are we going to be in person? Is it, is it some type of hybrid model? I'm crossing my fingers for in person because that's just, that's what all we've known. You know, we've only known in person unless you guys competed last year somehow virtually. But that's the exciting part. It's just the experience and ambiance of just hearing all of the kids talking and laughing and robots going, at, you know, being there as one community. So that's my hope to be able to meet in person and be able to just compete like we used to. So I'll have to keep you guys in touch uh, with what's happening with that. We're still in limbo yet, and that's one of the million dollar questions is, we'll be able to compete in person. So everybody's kind of on edge, like, you know, let us know, please, because that's a huge, you know, decision. And that's gonna affect what your team does. That might even affect, you know, who participates. So that's where we're gonna just hold onto our hats, cross our fingers, and hope everything goes well. Okay, guys, so hopefully in this video you were encouraged and pumped and excited. Again, I'll leave you the link to the teaser for the Cargo Connect, um, you know, first Lego League. It's just getting you excited about this and just all the possibilities start going in your head. But again, definitely reach out to your team. Just tell them, hey, how's it going? We're still interested in you having on our team. Be excited. Here's the trailer for this, this new season. And... Let's put everything in the past behind us and let's move forward towards Cargo Connect. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.